Hello everyone. This is my fourth video log uh, in which I am sharing my experience turning a Ionic application to a Shopify app. So let's get started. First of all, uh, till now uh, I was able to get uh, my Ionic app uh, being installed on the Shopify uh, Shopify store so uh, I was able to get it running but still there were uh, lots of things to be done as of now so uh, what I did till now was uh, I, I did the installation part authorization uh, as well as uh, uh, the app initialization uh, most of the code is an app component itself uh, so uh, we are facing uh, lots of issues like uh, uh, issues of handling various cases as being in the same component and with uh, lots of ifs so uh, today I have modularized these things and uh, 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 I've created three uh, three uh, components for the same like Shopify install, Shopify auth, and Shopify app. Uh, for uh, Shopify install, will be somewhere we uh, provide the uh, uh, Shopify uh, shop origin, and once we create, uh, once we uh, hit the install button, uh, it navigates us to the uh, uh, store uh, where the user installs the application providing us the required permissions from there uh, it is redirected uh, to the redirect URL that we have passed so this is the Shopify auth uh, though I noticed that uh, uh, when I uh, even Past the Shopify auth URL, uh, the 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 Shopify admin uh, or the Shopify platform, uh, it, uh, it 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 uh, changes uh, the uh, redirect URL with the base path only. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe due to the hash or something like that. So. Uh, it is still getting to the root so I have to do perform some handling for that in the app component and then I'm passing uh, the parameters to the auth component uh, while doing so I also face one of the issues where um, the parameters are not passed as it, did, uh, as it, it is from root component to the auth component when uh, uh, we manually do that so uh, what approach I took was uh, to store these values in the uh, provider variables and then utilize them in the shop auth component. Then finally uh, once all this is done uh, uh, the app will be uh, available uh, to the uh, user uh, in, the, in the apps of the store uh, so I have created a Shopify app component uh, which directs the user uh, to, to either login or to the uh, home page uh, based upon uh, whether the authorization process or uh, the token we have is, success is successful or not so these are the three modules that I have created. Uh, okay, so uh, for this Shopify app component, um, the idea of, of creating this component was to uh, to have a uh, logic uh, bifurcated in the uh, main app uh, web in, uh, web interface of the main application, the main Office app. And the Shopify app so that uh, uh, we don't have to handle lots of things out there but here still I'm facing some issues uh, uh, 
redirecting to login and home page uh, as sometimes it uh, get into a infinite loop so I still have to work on that part and other than that from ng rogue we were able to deploy the application on uh, the uh, the firebase and uh, the things are much more smoother now and even I tried installing uh, the application into one of the demo store and it's working quite smoothly though uh, the, there was a uh, one issue that uh, I'm facing when auth authorization and authentication part where uh, the access token when we are trying to get through the HTTP client uh, this has to be passed as a form data and when I'm uh, uh, getting the response from there though it's a uh, it's 200 uh, with 200 status that is a, a valid response not sure why the HTTP uh, uh, client of uh, the INIC Angular it is not able to identify that and uh, most of the time I'm getting into the error block so I'm still looking uh, for it and uh, that's my task for the another day so that's was all for today. Mm -hmm. Thank you.